I love you so much. Words are not enough to describe my love for you. But I'm going to try. John, to make it very simple, it's you and me. Nothing more and nothing less. Today, tomorrow and forever. You are my now forever dog. You are the reason why I stand here today. Confident and ecstatic to be here with you. Walking up the aisle to you, loving you and being with you forever. John, in this life that we build together, I vow to you that I will continue to be yours forever. Sorry, forever yours. Loving and encouraging, I vow to continue to hold you and be there for you. I vow that I will continue to support you and to listen to you. I will hold your hand, hug and kiss you every day. I vow that I will continue to protect you, inspire you, encourage you and fulfill all of your dreams. John, the next step in our lives are beginning soon and I am not scared because I know that I will have you every day when I wake up, when I fall asleep, bound together forever. John, you support my craziness and weird quirks. You lift me up from my worries and hold my hand during my anxieties and most importantly, you give me food. You wipe my tears during my sad moments and you bring me food. You constantly have my back during my triumphs and you are my literal knight in shining armour, my prince and dog. John, I love you so much. You are unique and so special to my heart. We are soulmates. We were made for each other. The one I am meant to spend the rest of my of eternity with, now and in the afterlife. John, I love you with all of my heart and soul. Best friend. serious part. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Stephanie Bianca DeFalco, take thee, which is you, John Albert Quinn, to be my lawfully wedded husband. Falling in love with Do you know how hard this is to write? I, I think I must have written a th these in a thousand different ways. I tried poetry because I know how much you love poetry. They were long and honestly not my best work. I tried sincerity, but honestly I kind of sounded a bit like a tool. <laughs> and I felt like I was voicing some NPC character that DM's really into, but the players just want to get on with it. I wrote funny ones, I wrote a lot of funny ones, and as much as I love making people laugh, I've got an audience. This isn't, this isn't stand up. I did ones with in jokes, I did ones with stories, I had one that involved props, um, and none of them were good enough for this moment, and none of them were good enough for you. But everything I wrote, I wrote for you. I wanted to write something that would make you smile or laugh or cry or even do that face you do where you kind of pout like a five-year-old. Everything is about you. I wonder if you fully realise how much time I've spent in my head, how much effort I put in to making you happy, how many times in my day some random event happens thought that comes to my head is I've got to tell Steph. You have some bizarre monopoly over my thoughts. And I think that's the first of my vows. You are and always will be my first thought. I, I live to make you happy. I find as many ways as I can to do it. I do it giving you food being your pillow, feeding you, making you laugh, making you lunch, going for drives, 
getting you stacks. Anyone noticing a pattern here? It is true that food is the quickest way to someone's heart. And while I'm kidding about the food, I'm not kidding about cheering you up and making you happy. I vow to provide you with a life full of happiness. And if I can't, then I will sort out anything that stops you from being happy. I'm here to find solutions to any problem you ever have, to find a way around any roadblock in your path, and if someone stands in your way, then I will go into battle for you. You always have my sword, my bow, and my axe. And my vow that I am here to face the challenges this world throws at us together. And finally, I vow that this marriage will be just the most ridiculous and nonsensical thing. <laughs> I love every day with you where we have stupid fun, we make our own dumb jokes and I can be my idiotic self around you and that you have always accepted me for it. The only thing I ever want to take seriously is how much I love you and how much I cannot wait for our life together because no one, no one else would get this and no one else fits right here. So, I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, John Albert Quinn, take thee, Stephanie Bianca de Falco, to be my lawfully wedded wife. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Get his pain when I needed sunshine. I got rain. Oh, then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Saw her face.